Yoweri Kaguta Kagutam Seven, an eloquent politician and soldier, is a man who many say is largely unpredictable. However, his unpredictability came into question after the 1996 general elections, when he said that had Ugandans not elected him then for that first term, denying him the mandate to run the country, he would have gone back to the bush. Never mind that he had already served for 10 years as a military ruler. Suspicions that he was ready to consolidate power for a longer period began to emerge. DP President General Paul Kawanga Samogere was Museveni's strongest contender in the 1996 polls. Jema's Chibirige Mayanja came third in a race where Museveni garnered 74%. In 2005, Uganda returned to a multi-party political system after a referendum. Political parties began developing their structures after nearly 20 years in limbo. Usually, parties go about the business of sourcing for candidates for the different leadership positions within themselves and the country generally. Of Uganda's seven major political parties, at least four have had changes in the top leadership, but not NRM. This is partly because it is a relatively young party compared to DP or UPC, which are pre-independence parties, meaning they existed before 1962. At previous NRM delegates' conferences, no serious contender has emerged to challenge party chairman and president Museveni. The few who have presented themselves stand down for Museveni at the 11th hour. Dokolo MP Felix Okoto Gong is one of them. It appears that the role of Museveni as NRM chairman is considered sacred, never to be interfered with. Dr. Kakungulu Mayambala, a Makere University law don, argues that in Uganda, political parties appear to honor their founding leaders by giving them a blank check. Uh, because of the low levels of um, multi-party politics, it hasn't yet picked up in our country. Uh, and because the NRM was started by President Museven and other people, just as FDC was started by Dr. Kezavisji and other people, some people tend not to separate especially the, the people who would consider to be the godfathers of a particular political party, uh, especially when they are still alive, they tend to keep up with that spirit of being a godfather. So. NRM deputy spokesperson Ofono Pondo thinks that party members love him seven because he has built NRM as a party with an outstanding ideology. We believe, however, that today NRM will live without him seven. Why? Because it has a practice, it has now a culture. The NRM leaves it open for Museven to offer himself for leadership as many times as he wishes because there are no term limits in the party constitution. In an interview with NTV, Museven said he will stand for NRM top leadership until members vote him out or until he chooses not to stand again. When my party uh, decides to have another candidate, because it is the party which for, put forward uh, another candidate, or, or when I myself decide not to, to present myself, but uh, I think when he gets to 75, then uh, unless the constitution is amended, he will not be able to, to run. And so I think at that time, he would be able to step down. Towards the 2006 elections, parliament amended the constitutional clause providing for presidential term limits and left it open, meaning that only the age limit of 75 years for one to stand for presidency was left intact. President Museven is now in his late 60s. Some analysts argue that he might make use of the large NRM numbers in parliament to also remove the age limit clause, giving him more liberty to stand for the presidency, making his succession even harder within NRM or even by the opposition. He can choose to prolong. It was a mistake for him to remove term limits, okay? But he can redeem his legacy. The problem of Africa is not term limits. Come in and get out. Get out so that I sit on the chair. Uganda has never witnessed a peaceful and democratic change of power. According to DP activist Mwanga Chivombi, Ugandans look up to Museveni as the first leader who could change this sordid record in the country's history. He's still one individual in this country that can usher in a new day for Uganda. One individual, but he also has the master key for instability. And our prayer should be on the positive side. A school of thought argues that Museven is grooming his 36-year-old son Muhoz Kenirugaba to succeed him. They cite Muhoz's meteoric rise in army ranks for their argument. As long as it's democratic, it is peaceful, it can be intra-party within NRM, okay, where you get a successor. I don't even care for heaven's sake, even if it is Muhoz, even if it is Janet. There are many young people who are coming up who understand the NRM 
uh, aims of transformation. So I'm not worried about that. It's a matter of time. When Museven picked out Professor Gilbert Bukenya from Makere University Medical School and made him vice president, perspective changed from Muhozi to Bukenya as the likely successor. But now it appears Bukenya has fallen off the succession queue. The succession debate seems rife within NRM and it has reportedly dented relations among the party's big wigs. It is believed that the Bukenya camp is one of the three or so camps in NRM where leaders have created small fiefdoms domes to position themselves for the Museven succession. In his recent book, through intricate corridors to power, Bukenya writes about succession and intrigue. He says, many party members disapproved of Museven's decision to make him vice, but the president, nevertheless, brought him closer to groom him. In the book, Bukenya boasts of this personal influence with the president. Bukenya recently lost an acrimonious contest for NRM Secretary General to incumbent Amama Mbabazi, who is also seen as a close ally of Museven and a man whose role during the Bush War is widely recognized. Museven remains evasive about his exit from power. Whenever he's asked about it, he says he still has a lot to do for Uganda. Struggle, which we have been engaged in for the last 45 years, to bring up Uganda, but if possible also bring up Africa, is the one which guides our, cho our, uh, our choices, whether we sh I should participate or not. If he's still interested in the seat, uh, he has to justify why he's... Uh, He's, he still wants to be around, especially in light of the fact that he's coming now to three decades in power. The president's remarks leave the impression that the talk about his succession should be reserved for the distant future, not today. Frank Walisimbi, NTV. Uh,